welcome back to another video it is a beautiful beautiful monday my off day normally a day that i um chill a little bit work a little bit you know it's normally more of more of a relaxed work day to be honest i have to catch up on the things or business for the house so that's what i plan on doing today i came in here because I want to get me either some tea or some coffee. I haven't decided yet. I don't know which one I want, tea or coffee. I finally, I got some iced coffee, but I haven't really been drinking iced coffee yet this season. I still been on my hot coffee because I don't know, it's just something about, I can drink hot coffee in the, any time of year, any time of day, I can drink it, so. I may just get some hot coffee just to kind of give me a little boost, a little caffeine boost this morning. Um, that's what I think I'm going to do. Uh, I think since the last time I saw y'all, I got my hair retightened. My sister hooked me up. I got it in a ponytail. I don't know if you can tell. You can see my scalp a little bit more. <laughs> so I just got it pulled back in this ponytail. Um, normally when you get locked your tightens, it can be a little tense that first day, but I had a trick for her because my sister can be heavy handed. So I took me some headache medicine and that did it. Cause normally when I get my hair retightened that first night, I have the hardest time sleeping and getting comfortable. So I slept pretty good last night. So the headache medicine worked this time. But otherwise, hopefully y'all are having an amazing day. Um, a great start to your week as well. This week, um, I don't think I have that, that busy of a schedule this week. I'm not sure I hadn't checked back my schedule yet. Probably because I try to focus on the things that I have to focus on each day. Like Monday, I normally do housework or either um, handle you know bills and things like that for the house. So that's what I'm gonna focus on today. Um, I need to cook dinner. What I'm going to cook, I'm not sure. Um, a couple of days ago, I got this spaghetti squash here, so it's in front of me. I wasn't sure if I wanted to cook that today or cook something else. So hopefully I figure it out soon and um, maybe I'll show y'all what I cook in this video, I'm not sure. My idea was to do like a meat sauce and just use the spaghetti squash as our noodles. But I'm not 100% sure. I've been on this trying to get more vegetables in kick. And um, I also thought about doing like a pasta salad, but with the spaghetti squash. So that'll be an overload full of vegetables. So who knows? I'll figure it out by the time I finish handling my business this morning and I'll pick y'all back up. So let me get myself together. Let me fix my, my coffee. And um, I'm sure I'll pop back in with y'all at some point a little later, okay? We're in the car again. I know, long time, no see in the car. I'm about to head out to um, go see a friend of mine. She is here and I'm going to visit with her today. So I figured I'll pick up and start this video. We may just be by some water again today. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited about that. It's a little cloudy, but hopefully the clouds hold up. It's like 80 degrees, so it's pretty warm. But um, I'm excited to see her, I haven't seen her in a minute. So we're gonna hook up, hang out for a little bit today and um, see what we get into. So I figure I'll bring y'all along with me. Hopefully you're having an amazing day. It's actually the weekend. So uh, we're hanging out on a, a good Saturday today. My drink of choice today, Gatorade. <laughs> Trying to be hydrated because the weather, the temperatures are up and I wanna make sure I have my electrolytes and I'm replenished as far as fluids since I'm probably going to be in the sun. 
So um, I'll bring y'all along for a little bit of what I have going on today. So I'll pick y'all up later, okay? Oh yeah, the food was a hit on yesterday. Um, we did like the fish fry and the salad. Um, so everything was really, really delicious. The people enjoyed it. Um, I'm telling y'all, if y'all haven't tried that salad, you gotta give it a try. Normally when it's when it's warmer, of course you can do it any time of the year, but normally when it's warmer, you know, most people tend to try to go towards the lighter menu items or food items so you won't have to turn your oven on so much, you know, at least that's what I'm used to here in the South. So, um, maybe, hopefully I'll be showing you more lighter food options, um, especially salads because... I've been on my salad kick lately, trying to experiment with a lot of new uh, salad recipes and mixes. So let me know if you um, are going to try that salad out. So let me get going because I'm, I don't want to be late. My friend is waiting on me. So I got about 20 minutes to drive to get there. So I'll see y'all later, okay? You can get like snow cones, ice cream, and stuff from the ferry area. It's open too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Yep. Uniform people down here. So 
They over here too. You don't. What you gonna do when we come back? For the win. You gonna have to walk in the field for the win. Hey guys, so I wanted to pop in. This is editing Dorcas, and I wanted to give you a little context of what was going on. So, me and my friends came to Dolphin Island just to um, come to the beach, uh, have a quick beach day. We didn't get in the water or anything like that, but of all the days, we picked today, um, a day where they were celebrating uh, the 160th year uh, historic Fort Gaines site. They were literally about to reenact uh, battles, shoot cannons, all of the things. And I was a nervous wreck. I'm like, so wait a minute. They were trying to clear everybody out of this walking path so they can um, shoot their cannons and reenact stuff. And I'm like, we picked the wrong day. So I was so nervous. So that's why I was like, oh my goodness, get me out of here. So that's why all these people you see up here, you know, ready to watch the show and I'm just trying to get out of Dodge, but that what was going that is what was going on that day. Um, but overall, we still had a good time. to Costco and I got these lemon blueberry loaf cakes for $8.99 it looks really good but I don't need it I don't need it I did not come in here for that but it looks good hmm. check this out this bar set it's really nice it's an eight piece modular bar set with two fire towers hmm that is nice wow well it's perfect for the spring and summer i love that and then i really like this the style of this uh furniture here i think i've seen these online i really like this it's like wicker Ooh, and it turns Hmm. It's like a sofa table and two chairs for $17.99. It's a four-piece seating set, basically. That's nice. I like that. Hmm. I came up on this. Oh, see, I got tricked. I was far away, and I thought the price said $79.99, but it's $159. I was like 80 bucks for a two piece. I'm about to grab that. I've been wanting me some new some new luggage, especially if it's the kind that swivels like that. And it has a lock on it. That's nice. 159. Oh regular 199. You get a rebate. That is super nice. 
I figured I'd come down this aisle to check out the price on these beans. Mr. Allen is wanting to kind of get the garage together, together a little bit more. And I think we're going to use these beans to put on our shelving outside. These 27 gallon, sometimes they're going to sell for seven bucks. I hate I missed that seven book sale, but they're $8.99 regularly. I'm just doing this for a mental note so I'll know the price when it's time to get some. I think we're gonna need about 18 to 20 of these. So the 40 gallon are $18.99. Okay, okay. Good to know, good to know. <laughs> I need some double A batteries. Let me call and see if this is the ones we need. The pretty flowers and ferns out. I may want me some more flowers. But I just don't have the time. I have to be honest with myself. I've had these before. Oh, they're so pretty. So pretty. You smell so good over here. These need a little water. So let me go. I came here to go to the pharmacy, so let me get to where I'm supposed to be. Get to where I'm supposed to be. I come out of here with a basket full of stuff. Hey y'all, just came in from picking up a few items from the grocery store. Wanted to show you what I picked up. I picked up a cucumber. I got some eggs. Picked up some iceberg lettuce just for a quick salad. <clears throat> I picked up some more of the berry mix. I use that for my smoothies. Um, look what I got. Some more hot buffalo tuna. I went to one store. They didn't have them. So I had to go to a different store. And they had them. Like these must be popular. Then I picked up a golden butter cake. I got these grilled cheese. Lance crackers. These, these things are really good. So try these out if you like crackers as such. I picked up some peaches. Got a small can and a big can. I may or may not be making peach cobbler soon. Been having a little taste for that. Then I got some Oreo cookies. I already had these chips ahoy. I just got these out because I have to refill the cookie. And this one I'm most excited about. One of the fam told me to get these and honey I meant that when I said I put it in the car I took notes and this is going to be in a place of croutons just to add a little bit more flavor to my salad so I'm excited to try these out so chipotle cheddar flavored tortilla chips well tortilla strips <laughs> but uh, this is my small haul that I picked up from the store so I was just popping in to show y'all what I got Go ahead and show you or tell you what they taste like really quick. I'm tasting these Texas Toast Chipotle Cheddar Shrips. Okay. They kind of remind you of a flavor tortilla chip or a flavor um what is the chip called frito okay they're good you can eat these as a little snack or some chips too okay guys i'm about to get ready to prepare my spaghetti squash and decided to pick up the camera 
This is how I do it. I just line my pan with some foil. I think my spaghetti squash is probably the, the hardest part cutting, um, cutting the squash up because it's so big. Let me bring y'all out a little bit so you can see. So yeah, all you need is some squash, a little seasoning. This is optional if you want. You don't have to do seasoning. And then some olive oil. So I'm gonna get this cut in half and show you what I do. Let me get my knife, I'll be right back. So basically I saw using spaghetti squash online somewhere, probably Pinterest. I'm on Pinterest a lot. I have did it uh, once before and um, it was delicious. So I've been um, wanting to do it again. Basically it's just essentially squash that um, strings up like spaghetti pasta. So you're not eating the carbs, you're eating a vegetable basically. So some people cut it in half um, horizontally. I'm gonna cut it vertically. I think the last time I did this, Mr. Allen was here, so he cut it up for me. So I'm gonna have to do it myself this time. Again, like I said, this is probably the hardest part to this, is cutting it. <laughs> so, making the grooves. I gotta try not to cut myself, as you can see. And even with a sharp knife, to me, this is so hard. I got it open it didn't take me too long <laughs> it's not a clean cut but hey I got it open so it has like seeds and such inside basically what you do is just take and scrape the insides out and just trash that I think I've seen where some people leave it <clears throat> I've seen where some people leave theirs inside and um, just scrape it out after they bake it but I'm doing it beforehand that way one less step okay to give me a bag so I can put the the seeds in I can take these seeds and plant them. I've been really, really wanting to grow me a garden, but me having the time is the question. Me having the time. So I got the seeds out of one. I think I left one. I'm just gonna sit it inside and get the seeds out of this one. It's kind of like the core of it. And y'all, this is my first time trying this. So I was blown away. I'm like, I cannot believe that this thing actually resembles pasta. I'm just taking my spoon and scraping the seeds out. Like so, like that. Pull these since it's kind of stuck. Let me clean my hands. So basically what I do is take my olive oil, drizzle it. I forgot one tool. You 
can use your hand, but I just take my little brush here and kind of evenly distribute it. Even distribute the olive oil. Now, I don't know about you all. I normally put olive oil like on my pasta and season it if I'm seasoning my pasta anyway. So it's pretty common for me to do that. And then I just take a little bit of my nature seasoning and drizzle just a little bit. Again, this step is not mandatory. It's just just if you want to add a little bit of seasoning to it. So I'm going to just turn it over and throw this in the oven just like this for about 30 to 45 minutes. Hey guys, so I'm back. I'm about to make uh, my meat sauce for my uh, what, what is it called? Spaghetti squash. I forgot the name of it. <laughs> So I picked up some ground chuck from the grocery store. And I'm gonna cook this just like traditional meat sauce. Basically brown it up. I don't have any peppers and onions um, already cut up, but I got some seasoning blend here. It has onion, peppers, parsley already in here. That's what I do, or keep in the freezer for those times when I don't have any uh, fresh veggies already made up. It's just quick for me. So pretty much the same way you, you know, brown your meat. Nothing too fancy here. Let me get this browned up. And I'll pop back in when it's time to put my sauce in. I just got my spaghetti squash out of the oven. It's a little tender to touch, like you can put an indention in it with your finger if you press down, if you see that. So that goes to show you how much softer it is from when I first put it in there. So if you're not used to touching hot stuff, don't. <laughs> You know, let it cool a little bit, but what I'm gonna do is just take it and flip it. So you can see what it looks like. And basically what you do is you take your fork and you just shred it. Okay, let me show you what I do to shred the squash. This is another indicator to show you how soft it is at this point. It's really fork tender. So basically you go in, you take your fork and you shred it like that. You see how that's working? And it comes off really easy. Let me move you a little closer. 
So I have one already done. Brought you a little bit closer so you can see how easy it is to come off. You basically just scrape the squash from the sides. Very easy to do with the fork. You see how easy it comes off. And basically it just takes on whatever flavor that you put on there. This darker part is where the olive oil and seasoning was. So just as simple as that. Pulling it from the side. And what I did last time was just put our meat sauce inside of this. Put a little cheese on top. Ran it back in the oven. But I won't do that this time. This time I plan to just put the squash in a Tupperware dish. And we just kind of eat from just smaller portions because this is actually a large size portion and I know I'm not going to eat the whole thing. I realized from the last time that it was a quite a bit but it's totally up to you depending on how hungry you are. <laughs> but um, yeah guys this is it. That's all you do to scrape your spaghetti squash from the perimeter. Really easy, really flavorful not too crunchy not too mushy i really enjoy it so give it a try if you're trying to cut down on carbs a little bit i'm coming back over here to my ground chuck my rule of thumb is when you're cooking ground chuck ground beef when you think it's done i always say cook it a little bit more because i'd rather it be definitely cook all the way through so what I'm going to do is drain this and add my sauce, which it really doesn't have a lot of, as you can see, this really doesn't have a lot of fat protein in there. So I may just use a paper towel to drain any excess oil at the bottom. That way I won't have to dirty up a strainer. So yeah, let me do that. Let me grab a paper towel. I use that trick every now and then. See how I separated it and now the grease is coming to the center? You just take your paper towel, sit it in there, and let it drain up the excess oil without having to necessarily put it in the strainer. I don't know where I've seen this trick at. Probably online somewhere, Pinterest. <laughs> I actually didn't get enough paper towels, so that's what it looks. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna do it one more time because I actually didn't get enough paper towels the first time. So as you can see, still a little bit of grease in there. You just take the paper towel, kind of ball them up like, like so, like that. And just go in, and it just sucks up that. This is a lazy way. <laughs> the lazy way to drain your meat. So once you get that oil sucked up, you are done. And I just take it, tap it off, boom. So then you take your tomato sauce, whatever type you like. Whether you're making it from scratch or getting out of a jar like me tonight. This is going to be our dinner. We're going to have this and some garlic toast. Let me see if this is enough sauce. Let me check and see. But yeah, this is what we're having for dinner. And it smells delicious already. Yep, that's enough sauce. So all I do is let this kind of simmer down, let the flavors come together. I taste it and go from there. You know what? Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna add a little, I'll add some cheese to this. And I'll add a little heavy cream to it. 
just to spice it up a little bit, judge it up. So let me get my heavy cream and some shredded cheese. All right, I got my shredded cheese. I just got some, what they call Fiesta blend cheese. You got some Monterey Jack cheddar and queso cheese in here. That was a bit excessive, but the deed is done. And that is optional, you don't have to do that, but if you want it to be a cheesy dish, you can add some cheese to it. If not, just skip that step for sure. And if you've seen me make meat sauce before, I tend to add a little heavy cream sometimes, just for a little added richness and the flavor. You don't have to add a lot, maybe a tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half. It's gonna change your color a little bit. It's gonna make it a more lighter color, but that's okay. The flavor is going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. So that's it, y'all. That is my meat sauce. I'm gonna let this finish combining together. And that is dinner, okay? Hopefully y'all enjoyed me bringing y'all along for this quick meal, an alternative for using pasta as a spaghetti squash. And uh, yeah, that's it, y'all. I'm gonna wrap this up here and call it a night, okay? So hopefully y'all enjoyed this. Until next time, guys, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.